Hey everybody, Anne here. Today I'm going to do another UCut tutorial. UCut is an app for Android that you can get for free on the Google Play Store. You can also buy the pro version, but I just use the free version and it works really great. It may throw a few ads at you, but it's not a big deal. So UCut has updated with many features that so many of you have been requesting. So we're going to go through some of those today. Well, we're going to go through all of them today and we're going to create a short little video step by step and reveal some of the amazing additions that UCut has added. So let's get started. Pull up the app from your phone. You're going to come to this screen and click the orange plus sign in the white circle. You will be led to your phone's gallery where you can start pulling in clips, either video clips or photos. Let's just start with this clip. It's my intro and then maybe this one. And then I want to I want to pull up a photo. Let's go back to video. Let's pull up this video and then one more photo. Pardon my rooster. <laughs> Click the white arrow in the orange circle and then it will bring everything into the editing environment. There it is. Now we can start editing. Let's take this one clip here, click on the clip, and I think we're going to trim it. See there? From this menu you can trim, you can cut, anything between those two blocks there will disappear or you can split it and it will split it into two different videos. But for right now we're just going to trim it. So I'm going to bring it up here a little bit. Yep, let it start from right there. And so you can move this little white bar back and forth with your finger by dragging it. And yep, I think that that's good. Alright, so we've trimmed that clip. Let's go to the next. Hello, Romeo. That's Romeo, my rooster. All right. So we are going to change the duration of this photo. We're going to give it a few more seconds. Let's let it last 10 seconds. Click the orange arrow on the right to apply it to that one photo. Let's see. What are we going to do with this one? You'll notice that the menu will change in accordance with whether or not you have clicked on the clip. So I've got it clicked on now and you'll notice the menu changes just a little bit. Here I'm demonstrating how you can split the video without pulling up the trim menu. Just get it to where you want it. Press split. There you go. It's split it into two pieces. I don't want that part. So I'm going to press delete and delete it. It's gone. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to let this play for a little bit more and see if I want to split it again. I'm zooming in with my camera, not with the zoom feature. And they have added a zoom feature. All right, so let's see. Let me go all the way over here and let it play. What a blessing. Stop it. Split it. And delete that part. Since this is a photo, I'm going to go ahead and show you something you can do with it. Click on the clip. It'll bring up the menu for the photo. You'll have various options. I select crop. Now you can crop the photo, you can do it freehand, or you can select one of the presets. 16 by 9 will fill the average video screen. You can move it around, you can hold your finger in the center of it and move the whole frame around and center the image any way you want. There you go, make it in the center. And I like that. Yep, I think that's the way that I want to keep it. I don't like it. I'm going to press undo and it's back to its original form. Hooray! There's an undo feature. I'm going to scroll all the way to the beginning and we're going to show you the transition feature. See that little pen in the little white square there in between? We're going to click that on. We're going to add a transition. There's plenty to pick from and look at all those. The orange single check mark on the right is to make the transition for that video only. The two check marks on the left are for to make the transition for every clip. You can adjust the amount of time it takes for the clip to transition to the next. Let's give it a try. Let's see what it seems like. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see what we can get into next. 
All right, I just want to show you that you can scroll through your clip library in the editing environment by just moving your fingers, swiping left or right, or you can press and hold the clip and there's your clip library. You can scroll through your clip library like this and you can press and hold one of the clips and move it around any way you want. Once you get it to where you want, click the orange check mark on the right and there you go. This is also a fast way to move around your library and not have to scroll back and forth. You just click on the clip that you want to go to and edit next and there it is right in front of you. Let's try adding another transition. Let's do fade to black. And once again, you can increase the time. It's more dramatic when you're fading to black if you use more time. Let's see how that looks. Dun, dun, dun. I like it. Yep, I dig it. Next, hmm, I think I want to add some music. So click the little music icon right up there and it'll take you to your music library. I've just got two songs in my music library on my phone right now. There are uh, audio clips that you can use, but I don't recommend using them because they come with attribution and, oh, there's effects as well, and they have an agreement with Ucut. They don't have an agreement with YouTube, so you never know if you're going to get a copyright strike, so I don't recommend using any of those songs. Just use songs from your own library. So we're going to go ahead and choose this funky one. Yeah, let's see what that sounds like. I did it, click the use button, and let's see what it sounds like now. I like it, but I think I need to move it over just a little bit so it can be a little bit more dramatic. Okay, now let's listen to it. While I was listening to this, there was a part in this clip where I started talking and I don't want the music to be over that. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete the sound file. I'm going to add it back in a second. So just press on the sound clip and press delete. It'll go away. So now I'm going to listen and find where it is that I start talking. Now that I found the part where I'm speaking, I'm going to go ahead and split just before I start speaking. I'm going to go to the prior clip and I'm going to turn the volume all the way down because I'm going to do this dramatic thing with this clip. Click the check mark and now what we're going to do is we are going to add the music back but before I'm going to decrease the speed of this one clip where there's no sound so I can make a super dramatic thing with it. Alright, let's go back to my music library and add that song that I liked so very much and click use and now it's inserted. Let's listen. You notice how the song is too long for that clip, so I'm going to go back to that clip, click it on, and I'm going to further decrease the speed. Let's see if I can get this to match up perfectly. Um, let's see here. Alright, that's the beginning. Let's scroll. I'm scrolling by, oh, that's too long. I made the clip too long, so let's click it on again and increase the speed just ever so slightly. I think that's just about right. Oh no, I think so. All right, let's listen. Oh my goodness. I think 
think that's good, but I'm going to do something else with it. I'm going to click on the music and I'm going to make it fade in a little bit. <laughs> and fade out a little bit more just to make it a little bit more dramatic. All right. Let's see here. Oh my goodness. I didn't even notice that there was like a... Next, what I'm going to talk about is a truly amazing feature they recently added, and that is Picture in Picture. Click on the PIP icon. It will take you back to your gallery, and you can add a video over another video. Me, I'm adding it over a photo, but you can add it over a video as well. See that? Now, you can adjust this. You can press on it and move it around the screen if you want. You can make it bigger or smaller just by holding the little orange icons on the side. Um, let's see here, I don't want to block my pretty flowers, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can crop it. It will let you crop it! Yay! That makes it so much better. You can make it a little square, and you can just put it, pull it over into a corner. Yep. Nah, not that corner. I don't like that corner. Oh my gosh, that is the most beautiful flower ever! <laughs> See? Oh, I want it over here. Yes, I want it right there. Make it a little bit smaller. Move it over. Move it over a little bit more. And I think that should work. Okay. Let's let this play and see what it does. Oops, I noticed the image duration is not long enough, so I'm going to increase the duration of this image. And you could do, do the same with a video. And let's let it play. Let's sing! Oh my gosh, that is the most beautiful flower ever! I dig it! So let's see what this looks like start to finish. That is the most beautiful flower ever! Great, let's try the sticker function. I've already added a few stickers in my gallery, but I'm going to click the plus sign and go to my gallery and choose another photo. There you go. I'm just going to add this for whatever reason, and you can move it around with your finger, make it bigger or smaller. I'm going to move it over there to the corner and just put it all the way up there. And this is just a sticker. I think that's pretty cool. You want to change the duration of the sticker. It's easy to do. Just click on the sticker, double tap the left side, and you can choose to go to the clip start. Click on the right side of it and go to clip end. And it will neatly insert it for you from the beginning of the clip to the end of the clip. You can also do it beginning of video, end of video. Right on. I don't want that one though, so I'm going to click it on and click delete. So instead, I want to do a different kind of sticker. There are animated GIFs that you can use. So I think I'm going to, let's see, let's scroll through this. Oh, you can also choose emojis. And what's really cool about the emoji, emojis, once they load, is they're animated. Check it out! They're animated. All right, let's see. Which one am I going to use? Oh, there's effects as well. Oh, yes, all kinds of animated effects. So I'm going to choose this one because you're not going to be able to see it. It's white on a white background. But if you put it into your clip, this is what it's going to do. Look it! It's lightning striking my shelves. I don't like it, so I don't want to use that. Let's try something else. Click sticker again. I'm sure I can find something in there I want. Oh, there's trending. This is what everybody else likes. Far be it for me to use what everybody else likes. Oh, Kermit! Kermit the Frog! We're going to use Kermit. Okay, let's drag it over to here. Let's let Kermit dance on my shelf over here. Let's look at this. He's dancing. He's a dancing fool. 
Okay, so I need to adjust the length of this. Double click one side, it'll take it to, whoops, whoops, I messed up, I messed up. Yeah, clip end, and look at, I think I did it to uh, video beginning, and I don't want to do all that scrolling, so I'm just going to go like right here, click on the sticker, and then I'm going to split it. And then I'm just going to delete this other part so I don't have to do all that scrolling. There you go. So that should fit just fine. Let's see. Kermit is dancing on my shelf. Look at that. Oops. I made it a little bit too long, so I split it. Yeah, there we go. We need to make that end before the transition fades to black. Okay, now we're going to do filters. Um, yeah, let's make this a little bit brighter. I think that looks better, don't you? Yeah, you can see things better. There's all different kinds of filters you can use. And now let's use an effect. Uh, let's try several effects. Okay, we're going to press and hold for the duration that you want the effect to take place and you can just add them one right after the other. Ooh, there's a heartbeat, heartbeat. I dig it. Let's add, huh. Let's add this one. Oh, this is a zoom feature. I haven't got this one quite nailed down yet, but you can make it zoom in and zoom out now. See that? It's just very subtle, but it works. I like it. Okay. Click the check mark, and that little purple thing represents your filters or uh, effects. Don't let me get them messed up. Very cool. Zooming in and zooming out. Pretty cool, man. I like it. Okay. So, you know what? I'm not sure I really want any of those. I'm just going to delete them. So, I'm going to scroll to the beginning and we're going to delete them. What you have to do to delete them is click on the effect and click delete. The little garbage can. One by one. Delete it. And delete it. Just keep deleting until they're all gone. And then click the red check mark and you're golden. Next, we're going to add some text. It brings up your little keyboard. I'm going to put in I love shell. Oops. Oops. Got to spell it right. I don't like that font, so I'm going to click on the font thingy and change it to something that looks a little bit better. And once again, you can move it around, you can resize it, you can do whatever you want with it. You can make it so it's skinnier or all on one line. Move it up to wherever location you want it. You can change the color, whatever color you want. You can change the border color. I usually like my borders to be black. But you can do it whatever color you want. Let's do a shadow. I also like a black shadow. And you can change how much it's blurred. And you can change the position of the shadow by moving the X and Y axis. I think that looks good. Yeah. You can also make it animated. Let's do this. You can increase or decrease the duration of the animation. That looks great. Click the, oops, sorry about that. That's my screen recorder. Uh, I should move that out of the way. There we go. So I don't, I need to click that orange check mark. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Um, so I think it's just going to slide in. I love it. You can also make it slide out if you want to. All right, let's turn the volume down for this video. You can uh, adjust the volume for individual videos by clicking on the clip and just scrolling the bar.
one way or the other. Another thing you can do with the, well, you can do it with either the clip clicked on or off. You can rotate it. And see, there's the menu that comes up when you have the clip clicked on. Rotate it. You can flip it. You can mirror it. Click the check mark. And just do whatever you want to do. Another thing you can do is you can crop your video. So all you have to do is click crop. And they give you various different choices. You can do it freehand. I like to use the 16 by 9 because it will um, display it properly in most video viewers. But I don't really want that. So I'm going to go ahead and click it off and move on to something else. Something else you can do is copy a video or an image. Just click copy. It will insert the copy after the clicked on clip. But you know what? I don't want it, so I'm going to click undo. And it's gone. And if that wasn't enough, you cut keeps adding more features. Let's try the replace. Click on replace. It'll take you to your gallery. You select a clip and it will insert it instead of the one that you had clicked on. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. I don't want that one in there. So you know what? I'm going to undo it and it'll go back to the old clip. Another really cool feature is reverse. So let me find the clip I want to reverse and we'll eventually click on the reverse thingy. But let's listen to what this clip sounds like before I change it. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell and... Okay, yeah. let's use the reverse feature. You click it on and it will code it up for you. It may take a while, depending on the speed of your phone. So let's listen to what it sounds like now. <laughs> I sound like I'm Japanese or Chinese, so I don't want that. I'm going to press the undo button and it's gone, back to normal. You can also add a background, which creates a border. You can make it take various different forms. Um, you can have a border all the way around. Um, it can have a color, a, just a plain solid color. Or you can choose to have an image in the background, either from their library or yours. I don't particularly like it. But if I were to use it, I would use a solid color. You'll notice when you add a border, it adds it to the entire video. The only way to get rid of it is go back to background and click no border. Click the red check mark, orange one, and it'll remove it from your entire video. Okay, we're done. All that's left is for us to save it. Click the save button in the upper right hand corner. You'll get this little drop down menu. You can change the resolution, the frame rate, the quality. Um, and, and you'll notice that it will only go as high as your phone will allow you. And 1080p, you know what, my videos, I, I don't really need to have 1080p, nor like 60 frames per second. And you'll notice the higher you put it, the more storage it's going to take on your phone. So I usually back it down to 720. YouTube will put your videos in the case sooner if they're only 720. Um, 50 frames per second is good. Click on save, it'll throw you up an ad, click it out, and then you can minimize you cut altogether. And you see up in the upper left hand corner, you cut is working in the background. It will continue working until it's all done. And then when it's done, you're going to get a little icon up in the top of the left hand screen. All you have to do is go back to your gallery and whoops. See, it says you cut video editor done. I'm clearing that out. Click on your gallery, and there it is. It makes a new folder for you in your gallery called You Cut. Just click it on, and you can watch your creation. But you know what? Oh my gosh, I totally forgot something. I, I don't want to keep this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And I'm going to go back to you cut and fix the thing that I need to fix. We're going back into you cut. I'm going to click the little plus mark. Thank goodness I saved a draft. I'm going to click on my draft. I'm going to go back to my file 
um, my project and see what it is that I wanted to add. Hmm, what do I want to add? I think I want to go all the way down here. And let's see, what did I want to add? Oh, my feet. I wanted to talk about my feet. I totally forgot to talk about my feet. So we're going to talk about my feet right now. I pulled a photo of my feet from my gallery and now I'm adjusting the duration so that I can make it long enough for me to talk over. So let's go ahead to the beginning of this clip and click record. I'm going to start recording, but my screen recorder isn't going to pick up me recording, but I'll let you hear what I said afterwards. So I'm just going to talk, talk, talk about my feet and complain because it hurts and the joint gets really swollen and um, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, let's just see what this sounds like after I've done recording it. Here we go. Look at my feet. Aren't they terrible? Now I'm just going to trim it up a little bit. I'm going to move the little arrows on the right and the left to get it to exactly where I want to start and exactly where I want to stop to get rid of any clicks at the end or like heavy size at the beginning or whatever. So it's kind of nice. You don't have to do it, but it just makes it sound a little bit more polished. So, okay. Well, let's see what this sounds like. Look at my feet. Aren't they terrible? Just look. Now I think I'm finished. All we need to do is click save, pick the resolution, frame rate, quality that you want. Click save again. And then you're going to get another ad. That's no big deal. Just when it's done, click the little X. It'll go away. You can minimize you cut and it will start rendering the video for you. See there up in the left hand corner. When it's done, it gives you the done little icon. You can go to your gallery and pull it up and watch it. And it's super awesome. Now you are ready to upload it to YouTube and become just as famous as PewDiePie, Markiplier, Jack, Septicai, or Anne's Tiny Life. I hope this tutorial has been helpful with all the new features that UCut has added. If you've got any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. But please make sure you watch the video all the way through because I may have already answered your question. So yeah, give UCut a try. And the finished project that I made during this video, I'll leave a link down in the description box so you can click it on and go watch it. It's just a very short video. Anyhow, thanks for watching and that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.